good morning friends now we will discuss the remaining part of depository system uh, which is the part of uh, unit 6 and this is the lecture series 6 that i am going to discuss with you today the sixth lecture in unit number 6 the discussion point would be depository system in india as we have already seen there are only two depository organizations exclusively working in india they are nstl and csdl there is no other depository system permitted by sebi to operate in india only two depository systems they are taking care of the whole country and any investor who wants to open a demat account he can open the demat account either in nsdl or csdl uh, the depository participants are clubbed under nsdl and csdl uh, a, the state bank of india and most of the depository systems which are registered with nsdl and there are many private nsdl particip uh, many uh, private sector depository participants like share khan and some other things are uh, <coughs> registered with csdl so uh, the csdl or nsdl are the two depository participants working in india let us see in detail uh, the nsdl the how organization set up and how it is functioning in csdl when it came into existence and what is the functions what are the functions more or less nsdl and csdl functions are similar there is no change in that but in the examination question may be asked in short notes write the short notes on nsdl or write the short notes on csdl then you are supposed to write Uh, the details related to nsdl and csdl in that context we will have the knowledge of this if you want any further information relating to this <laughs> any deep information then you can directly go to the websites of nsdl or websites of csdl and you will come to know many things about it now as a part of the discussion we will have a short information relating to national security deposit limited nsdl and central depository services limited cst cdsl okay now uh, national security depository limited is the first depository system in india which came in the year 8th november 1996 which is basically formed for the purpose of handling the securities held in dematerialized form in the indian capital market it is the ownership is basically um, by uh, the um, what call as uh, <coughs> government of uh, india permitted to open this nstl uh, statistics we can see it later on but uh, it opens around 3602 accounts on an average each day if you see the business of nsdl you will be shocked to know that on an average every day 3602 accounts are newly opened with nsdl it means that the uh, investors open the demat account with nsdl nsdl is promoted by industrial development bank of india idbi and unity trust of india uti and national stock exchange organization the national stock exchange is the basic a uh, stock exchange which operates dematerialization activities through nsdl so it is just like a sister concern of national stock exchange and csdl is the representation or sister concern of bombay stock exchange bombay stock exchange the national security limited is the first and the largest depository system in india established in 8th november 1996 the business of nsdl if you see you will be shocked the investors accounts there are uh, what call as 2 crore 7 lakh 23115 investors have opened that account till today 2 crore 7 lakh 
23,115 crores deposit investment accounts are there, DMAT accounts are there. And if you see the depository participants service centers uh, across the country, there are 31,268 depository participant centers are there. If you see the DMAT custody value, it is uh, 21,505 lakh crores. Business is very wide. This is what the NSDL bears the business. If you see the functions of NSDL, NSDL performs the following functions through its participants, depository participants. It maintains investors' holdings in the electronic form. Any customer or client investor opens a DMAT account through uh, any of the depository participants, then uh, it maintains, the NSDL maintains the holdings of the electronic form of the securities of the investors. It enables the surrender and the withdrawal of the securities to the uh, and uh, and from the depository. It is surrender, withdrawal, whatever services are required, it does it. It affects the settlement of securities traded on the exchanges. So on behalf of the customers, the settlements and every procedures are taken care by the NSDL through the stock exchange settlement, uh, the clearing and settlement organization. So whenever you deposit, sorry, sorry, whenever a client as you are, the, if you are the client, if you purchase the securities or shares of any company, uh, you are going to approach the uh, broker that is the depository participants put your purchase option and on your behalf the broker will buy the security in the from the stock exchanges and when the security is purchased automatically that security is credited to your DMAT account the crediting system will happen through NSDL if you are the account holder of NSDL NSDL will work for you and credit that particular um, shares in your account when the settlement or the transaction is settled in the uh, clearing house of the uh, stock exchange that is national stock exchange if you buy the securities from the national stock exchange automatically it is settled through nsdl then it carries out settlement that have not been done on the stock exchanges if there are any stock exchange delays and all that on behalf of the customers clients, the NSDL will make the settlements and clear the transactions of buying and selling of the shares. And if you have bought it, it will be credited to your account. And if you have sold to it, then it will be debited to your demand account. It makes uh, allotment in the electronic form on initial public offers. If any new initial public offers, IPOs comes, the allotment of the shares will be made to the customers to the clients uh, electronically by the NSDL only. Because when you apply, in case of uh, uh, initial public offers, normally the issuing companies will, uh, uh, will sell the securities uh, through stock exchange markets or through brokers in the market. Open newspaper advertisement will be there for the issue of new securities by the companies. Any person who wants to purchase the shares will apply with application money, uh, application money to that uh, particular company. Company allots the shares. When the shares are allotted to the customer, then the allotted shares will be electronically sent and recorded. And NSDL is the one who comes forward in converting that uh, initial public offers in the electronic form. It offers, sixth one is it offers facility for freezing or look, uh, locking of investors account. If at all, there are any kinds of issues relating to the customers handling the shares and all that, if there is any court cases, uh, so on behalf of the court, the transactions of the customer is locked by the NSDL. So that control is there on the account of the clients. It facilitates offer of securities as a mortgage for loan. Any kinds of loans, mortgages, if required, it will help for mortgage facilities or pledging of security services are provided by the NSDL. More or less the same services are provided by the 
central uh, CDA cell also. Now we'll see the Central Depository Services Limited. Central Depository Services Limited is the second Indian central securities depository based in Mumbai. Its main function is the holding securities either in certified or uh, uncertified, that is dematerialized form. Now there is no certificate holding at all. If at all any government organization buys any of the foreign securities and all that, they are held in the certificate format. But all other than this, all stockholders, any individual investors having an account to purchases or sells the securities, everything is handled in the dematerialized format. Uh, so uh, to enable book entry, transfer of securities, etc. Central Depository Services Limited is a leading security depository promoted by Bombay Stock Exchange. It is the representation of Bombay Stock Exchange. National um, NSDL is a representation of National Stock Exchange, whereas it is promoted by BSC Bombay Stock Exchange. It is sponsored by many leading banks also. CDSL facilitates holding and transaction securities in the electronic form and facilities settlement of the trades on stock exchanges. These securities include equities, debentures, bonds, units, mutual funds, then uh, uh, certificates of deposits, commercial papers, government securities, and treasury bills. The company went public, uh, that is in the nationalization of that happened on National Stock Exchanges of India on June 2017. The June 2017, the National Stock Exchange is also accepted the central depository system. And now BSC and NSC both investors are provided the dematerialization services by central depository system. Now business of NSDL, if you consider uh, the total investors accounts are 2.78 crore investors accounts and uh, 589 depository participants. If you see the NSDL, it is more than 3,100 and more than that, but it is having a less than that depository participants. If you see the number of securities in DMAT custody, uh, it is uh, uh, 4,58,572 million crores money, million uh, rupees uh, of securities in DMAT account custody. If you see the value of securities, the, mm, the, the number of securities, if you see 4,000, mm, 58 for 4,58,502 million securities are held by the NSDL and DMAT format. And if you see the total value of the securities which are held in the DMAT account on an average is uh, 2,31,000, uh, sorry, 2 crore 31,81,585 million values, million amount rupees, million rupees. Uh, value of securities in DMAT custody, which is a huge fund. <clears throat> so the functions of NSTL is similar to that deposit of securities, DMAT services, transfer of services, pledging of securities, withdrawal of securities as and when required by the customers. So these are the various functions provided. So how the clearing transactions happens in both NSDL and CSDL, it is just an example. Clearing of transactions in uh, that is procedures in case of market transfer for retail investors. If any retail investors sells the security and all that, how it operates. We have already seen in the beginning itself the process of clearing, but now we will have NSDL a specific example how the clearance happens. See, whenever the sale or purchase of the security happens in the stock exchange, through the clients, through the the, the the clients, whenever they buy and sell the securities, you will find there is a selling client and there is a buying client. There are two types of clients. One wants to sell the security, another wants to buy the security. Selling of security uh, cannot be made by an individual directly to the buying uh, person. Normally, the buyer doesn't know who is the seller and seller doesn't know who is the buyer. So um, uh, the transaction happens through the clearing member or uh, the clearing uh, 
it is what to call as a um, uh, what to call as the broker. So when the selling option is being put through the broker in the stock exchange, right? The buyer who whose uh, clearing member identifies that and he puts a bid of purchase. He put seller puts the bid of sale, and buyer puts the bid of buy. Then when the purchase is made by the buyer and the sale is made by the seller. then automatically it goes to the depository participant one of that uh, uh, clearing member and it goes to the nsdl so it goes to the nsdl and the inform the buying information also passes through depository participant two to the nsdl now nsdl has got uh, the transactions the account demat account of both selling client and buying client now what the nsdl will do nsdl will inform uses the that is clearing house in intimation of the buying and selling of these two uh, clients will be sent to the clearing house in the clearing house the depository participants of account 1 will be transferred to the account 2 so what the clearing house will we will do the names which are there the buyers sellers name securities are transferred in the name of the buying buyer and it will give the information back to the nsdl now when the clearing activity happens out then nsdl will uh, debit the account of the seller because that much of securities are reduced and credit the uh, account of the buyer because the buyers shares value increases so the in a dematerial format only the transactions are affected by nsdl so this is how the activities of clearing happens now if you see the participants who are participating in this process of uh, buying and selling in demat account system are the clients who are buying and selling and uh, the depository uh, participant representatives that is the brokers then depository participant nsdl and clearing house clearing house is nothing but the stock exchange organizations representative representative who is involved in uh, the uh, transfer of securities from one person to another so this is what the total system of uh, the uh, what do you call as uh, uh, <coughs> activities uh, so here Uh, three activities are carried out in the clearing uh, member one clearing member two that is delivery pool and receipt so on behalf of the client delivery of the securities will be made then uh, once the uh, pool is made the sale is happened received is received like that this is what the transaction happens if you want to can clearly go through uh, the transaction procedures in nsdl and cstl thank you friends uh, we will uh, uh, end the lecture here uh, please prepare because normally short notes are asked in the examinations on nstl and cstl thank you